back in the Swiss Alps today. It's currently November and I'm on the Susten Pass on a sunset run. I don't think I've ever driven the Susten Pass in November. The weather is, well, it's quite, quite fresh at the moment, but as you can see, it's bluebird sunny and all of the big passes are still open, which I'm so happy about. First of all, just because, well, that's a really nice way to spend November. Second of all, my GT3 RS. Now I have to admit, I have not had enough time to use my car this summer, this year. And yeah, it's just quite a shame. Well, it's more than quite a shame. To be honest, I've had this GT3 RS tucked away in the garage for far too long. However, at the moment, I've got a couple of weeks free finally. The weather is looking good and I'm definitely going to make the best of it. Starting off today, again, back on the system pass on a sunset run, also to go take some pictures because, well, I've not really created many pictures for myself recently so definitely lacking some instagram pictures at the moment and how epic does my gt3s look sat up here right now incredible loving the gt silver always pops out in locations like this right changes well my wheels are now matte black i really wasn't feeling the gold that it came with it was kind of this weird yellowy gold and then it clashed with the yellow brakes. It was just too much going on. It was yellow gold, different shade of yellow, GT silver, black parts, carbon parts, more going on inside. Uh, white gold, titanium roll cage. Too much going on. So the wheels are now matte black. I think it blends in really well. Obviously there are so many black parts on the car already and it really emphasizes the ceramic brakes normally i'm not a huge fan of black wheels but i have to say for me on this car it just worked the best and sometimes like now it looks really good second of all my new aero discs from gold leaf performance super cool bunch of guys i have to say aero discs if you don't know it's not adding downforce or anything it's just creating air management is it anything i'm going to feel not necessarily not for what i do on the road this for me is really a visual upgrade you know me i love doing visual upgrades to my car it just pops out nicely on the back i decided to go with a yellow lip to match all of the yellow details as i said the brakes and inside i've got yellow details like the seat belts it's a big shout out to these guys gold leaf performance I have linked to them below the video. I absolutely love the stance of this car. It just looks so, so good. Every time I jump in my car, I just smile. And every time I ever jumped into a GT3, GT3 S, especially the 991.2, it just makes me smile. Let's head up the system pass. Go and catch the sunset, hopefully. So although the system pass is still open, it does close in the evening. So it closes from 6 p.m. until 8 in the morning. So that gives me around an hour and a half an hour hopefully get some nice sunset pictures so first of all as i said just super nice to be back in my gt3 rs not used it enough that's how life is sometimes you get caught up in a lot of work and don't get to enjoy the things that you work hard for because you end up working so much finding balance in life is not always easy let's head up the system pass peter k sport that's it. <laughs> no buttons on the steering wheel, which I still love. The next couple of weeks, as long as the weather stays good, I'm just going to daily drive my GT3 RS. It's been tucked away too long. Really, really made me quite sad, I have to say. One point. Over the last couple of months, I felt so sad and irritated that I just couldn't find time to come drive my car. Tunnel, only one thing to do. I will always love 
love this sound. <laughs> I've missed my car. <laughs> Ridiculous. I think I'm just going to enjoy the sound for a moment. over here especially towards this time the sun is changing so fast you never quite know where it's gonna go down behind the mountain and what time <laughs> I've just missed this car so much <laughs> Just arrived on the top of the system pass and kind of caught the very last of the sunset. The car. The car is looking just so cool up here. Right, I'm gonna go and try and take a couple of pictures. It's a small, very, very small sun flare. Try and capture it. It's gone down quite a lot earlier than I had planned. Forgot to mention some time back actually. This is my new camera at the moment. This is the Leica Q3. Big thank you to Leica Switzerland for helping me get one. So I've actually had this now for around two months and I wanted to show you guys earlier. So I still have my Sony, but I really wanted a walk around camera and I was honestly just a bit bored with my Sony. It's almost too easy to make good pictures. It's a workhorse, so I will use it for clients. That's my main reason for it now. But I wasn't really having any enjoyment from shooting with my Sony anymore. And this, although kind of frustrating on the first couple of weeks, I got it and I thought, oh, what have I done? You know, I'm so used to shooting fast with the Sony, it's so easy. And this, you need to take more time. And of course, the touch and feel of it is just, um, just close to perfection regarding a camera. And now after two months, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And just taking my time a bit more when I take a picture. If you don't know, it's a fixed prime lens, 28 millimeter, 
1.7 and I've just got a strap carry it around with me everywhere. I wanted to take more pictures in general. Carrying the Sony around with me was not so fun. I mean, especially on a strap, it's just uncomfortable. But this I throw around me now every day. So I've always got a camera with me and always have the possibility to make a nice picture when I want to. So again, thank you to Leica Switzerland. So far, so good. Really enjoying this next to my Sony. And the pictures are just so beautiful. Something very special about the pictures that come out of this. If you want to see the pictures, then you can head over to my Instagram. I think probably the last two or three posts are all with the Leica.